so welcome back to Pilates for Golfers. Today we are going to focus on the shoulders and those postural muscles in the shoulders. So all you'll need is either, if you've got little Pilates weights, that's great. If not, tins of beans, little one kilo, half a kilo weights will be enough. Trust me, it'll work you hard on that endurance. So let's get yourselves ready. So we'll just gently warm up those shoulder blades, getting things nice and open. So up onto your hands and knees, let's get those chest bones working. So hands underneath those shoulders, pelvis in that neutral position, ribs down, and let's drop that shoulder blade to the floor. And then pushing the floor away, open through the front of that chest, drop the shoulders down, pinch the shoulder blades together, and push away. And dropping down. Pinching the shoulder blades together, lengthen through the neck, push the floor away. Let's go three more. Drop down, push, good. Really just working those shoulders, keeping the arms nice and straight. Just getting those shoulder blades unstuck from that chest wall. One more. Now let's get those upper backs moving. Knees to go to the outside of the mat. We've got our chest open, reaching up towards ceiling, open through that upper back and come back down. So if you've been sitting at home, our upper backs and shoulders might be getting a little bit tight. Often people can hold their tension in the shoulders. So really nice little mobility sequence to release any stress that you've got. And let's go to the other side, opening up. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hands off the mat onto the floor and let's just sit back onto your heels, stretching through that right hand side of your body. Bring your hands as far as you need to to the left to feel that stretch of the right hand side. Coming back to the middle. And let's go to the right hand side. And again, sitting back onto those feet, stretching through that left hand side of your body. Really opening up from the ribs right down to that hip, pushing the bum back onto your feet. And then come back up. From there, we're gonna come lie on your tummy. So you want your head back, you're gonna place that underneath your forehead so you can still breathe. So placing the towel, or whatever you have underneath that forehead, arms go down by your side. So you're gonna place your palms in towards you. We're gonna do our breaststroke prep. So finding your neutral pelvic position first. So think about making it, creating a space between those bony bits and the mat. So you wanna tuck that bum in and then allow it to drop into the mat. So you're tilting that pelvis and allow it to drop into that mat. So it's nice and arched when it's relaxed and then you're getting a little tuck under, tummy muscles engage, a small space between those bony bits and the floor. So that's your neutral, you've got a little bit of core on, arms down by your side, palms facing in. Now your gaze will be straight down the mat, nice and long through the back of that neck. Breaststroke prep, let's start. Think about reaching for your toes. Open up through those shoulder blades, pinching the shoulder blades together. Arms come up to hip height and back down. Reach, hover, and pinch those shoulder blades together. So you're really reaching for those toes, opening up through those shoulder blades. Really working on those shoulder postural muscles. Getting nice and open, bringing us out of that slouch position. Not that anyone that's watching this class ever has poor posture. Right, let's add in some holds. Reach, hold, 20, 19, keep the ribs from digging into the mat. 15, 14, keep reaching for your toes. 12, 11, 10, core engaged, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, long neck, four, keep it on the block, two, one, and lower. So you might feel the backs of your arms working, that's great. Anywhere up the backs of your arms in between your shoulder blades, that's where we're targeting. 
That's what gonna keep you nice and upright and keep that lovely posture. And again, lengthen, open, pinching those shoulder blades together, ribs down, really keep working. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Shoulders are up off the floor. Another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And well done. We're doing two more of them. Keep those tummy muscles engaged. Think about those ribs not digging into the mat. You want those ribs still over the top of that pelvis. So two more. Lengthen, open, pinch. 20, 19. As much as you can, get those shoulders open. Keep pinching. 14, 13, 12. Long shoulders. 10, 9. Reach for the feet. 8, Seven, pinch, pinch, pinch. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Only one to go, we're nearly there. Feeling the backs of those shoulders nice and warm now. Lengthen, reach, open. Keeping that neck nice and relaxed. We're holding for another 15, tummy muscles engaged. Ribs down, long arms, 10, 9, pinch, 8, 7, keep reaching, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, give those arms a little shake. From there, bring your hands up underneath those shoulders, flat onto the mat, push back through those hands, Come all the way to sit back onto the feet, just stretching out through those shoulders. Now we're going to come into our Pilates version of the push up next. So, to start with, our level one is knees are underneath those hips, hands underneath those shoulders. So, the bend is going to come from the elbows. So, you're going to breathe into a pair. You're gonna find that neutral pelvic position. Bony bits go down the front of your thighs, ribs engaged, nice and open through the shoulders. Soft elbows. From there, like you're praying, all in the hip. You're gonna drop that head and chest down to the floor, push back through your hands. Drop through your hips, down to the floor, keep your elbows pinned to your side. So I'm going to just come face the camera just so you can see where the elbows are going. So the elbows stay nice and tight to your side, a little bow, push back through your hands, drop down, keeping those elbows in. So for some of you that's going to be too easy. If you find that you're working hard that's absolutely fine. If you want a little bit more you're going to come onto your knees. Now don't let your back drop an arch like you can see me there, you want to keep that bum tucked in. Ribs are still over the top of the pelvis. You're going to go for elbows in at your side. We're going to do 10 push-ups. Soft elbows, drop down towards the mat. Keep the elbows in, push back. Good, 10. Drop down to the mat. Tummy muscles nice and tight, nine. Lovely, don't let that back arch drop down. Push, keeping that bum engaged. Eight. Push, good. Seven. Squeeze the tummy, use your core, good. Six. Push up, five. Coming up onto those knees. Tummy, tummy, tummy. Four, nearly there. Take breaks if you need it. Three, try not let that back arch. Two, last one. And one, and push back and relax. From there, you're gonna come up to sit. So we're still gonna work that core. Feet go nice and wide. Staying up nice and tall for me. So shoulders should be feeling a little bit warmer now. But we're gonna continue to work them. So you're gonna need your cans or your weights. 
Up nice and tall, nice and open through those hips. Arms are going to come out to the side. Shoulders back, they're nice and open now. Those shoulder blades are ready to be worked. We're going to work those postural muscles a little bit harder. So let's get them warmed up. We're going to lift straight into the side. Back down to touch the mat, 20. Shoulders open, keep them away from your ears. Try not to let those shoulders creep forwards. You want to keep them out to the side. Good, I'm feeling nice and warm now. 15, 14, this will be a shorter one. I'm going to work you quite hard for a short period. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Good, keep that shoulder away from your ear. 7, 6, 5, 4, Feel my shoulders getting warm. Three, two, and one. A little shake out the shoulders. Into the same thing again. Arms straight out. You're going to hold them. One taps down, back up. Then the other. Ten. Nine. Open through those shoulders. Keep holding that weight. Eight. Seven. Just control down to the floor. Don't let it plop. Six, ribs down. Watch your posture, not falling back. Five. Don't let the balls drop. Four, or the weight. Three. Two. One. And one. And shake it. So we're gonna work this rotator cuff, but let's get them warmed up a little bit first. So dumb waiter, turning forearms out, come back to the middle. Holding those weights, keeping those shoulders nice and open. Elbows stay in at your sides, core engaged. You might feel the front of those hips starting to work. That's absolutely fine. Two for one in this exercise, opening those hips at the same time as working that core and the shoulders. Two more. All right, come back. Keep your elbows bent to 90. You're gonna lift the arms straight out to the side. From there, you're gonna turn up, turn down, lower. Lift out, elbows stay stable. Turn the hands up towards the ceiling. Bend the elbow back down, 20. 19, getting that twist and rotation through the shoulder. 18, really important to work these little muscles. 17, this might be hard enough without any weight. So listen to your body, don't push into any pain. If you're tight, you'll hear some clunks and cracks and pops. That's fine, as long as it's not painful, don't be worried about noise. Hopefully the noise is a bit less. As you work the muscle, just tell me you're not using those postural muscles as well. Feeling a little bit heat. 10. 9. 8. Lovely. 7. 6. We're nearly there. 5. Four, three, two, and one, and relax. So we've got one more exercise with the hold and that's the full set. So elbows in at your side, come out and hold. Right arm up and down, 20, 19, left arm stays, 17, 16, just twisting at the elbow joint, 15, 14, 13, 12, really working that rotation, 11 and the core, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, tummy engaged, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We've got the left hand side and then we'll have a little stretch and then we'll come back in for one more set. Same thing. Straight out. 20, 19, 18, 
17, don't let that right arm drop, 16, 15, ribs down, 14, 13, 12, 11, watch your posture, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep the 90 degree angle, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From there, pull your knees into your chest, give your core a little break, roll your knees side to side. So we've only got one more round of that, and then I'll leave you off for the rest of the week. So really put them in for the last set, we're nearly there. Only a few more minutes to go, and then a nice little stretch on the cool day, and that's all I'm asking. So back into your V-sit, up nice and tall, spine towards the ceiling. Grab your weights, whatever you have, straight up and down, 20, 19, 18, 17, working those postural muscles, 16, 15, important we keep our shoulders strong, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, might be getting tired, take breaks if you need them, 9, drop the weights if you're finding it too much, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, a little shoulder light. We've got our hold up and down now. Up nice and tall, drop one hand down, back up, and then the other. Ten. Nine, up nice and tall, don't let those shoulders come forward. Eight. Seven, shoulders away from ears. Six. Five, ribs down. Four. Ooh, it's getting warm. Three. Two, one more side, one, one, and lower. Well done, elbows in at your side, get those rotator cuff warmed up, that's the last set. Just twisting for your dumb waiter, keeping that posture, you're nearly there. This one gives a little breather, just warming up those rotator cuff muscles. Ensuring you keep that rotation in your golf swing, so you don't lose range. Nice and open, and you've got control. Right, last push. Straight out, turn up, down, good. Keep the elbow bent to 90. Up, down, good, 19. 18, straight out with those elbows. 17, tall to the neck. 16, keep the ribs down. 15, 14, lovely, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. So we just have our right and our left leg next. That's it. And then you're all done. A little stretch. March, elbows bent. Right arm first. Twenty. Nineteen. Keep that left arm up. Eighteen. 17, last push for me, ribs down, 16, 15, push all the way to the end, 14, 13, I'm feeling it warm too, 12, 11, 10, keep those elbows back, 9, 8, shoulders down, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. 20 more reps and then it's all for a stretch. That's it, 20 seconds of work. You have this, elbows in at your side. Come out, keep that right hand nice and stable. Left arm goes up, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Don't let the right arm drop, 12, 11, 10 seconds left, 10, 
Nine, elbow up. Eight, whew, seven, ribs down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And lower, bend your knees in, give those hips a little stretch. Well done, sit whatever way you feel comfortable. Let's just stretch out those shoulders. Bring your right arm in front, bring it across the middle of your body and place that left arm above the elbow or below, not on the elbow joint. And let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And left one, across the middle of your body. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right arm up towards the ceiling. Bring that hand behind your back and pushing that gently down and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Left arm comes behind your back and pushing a little bit of a stretch onto that left arm and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. And relax, that just stretch those chest muscles. So bringing those arms behind you and just push your chest forward, open up through that chest. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we'll just finish off with a stretch through our sides of those shoulders. Coming up onto your hands and knees, bring your hands over to the left hand side of the mat and sit back onto those feet. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And go over onto the right hand side and sit back and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Well done everyone. That was a shorter class, but uh, I hope you feel that you worked nice and hard. I snuck the little cool down into the end because uh, it's probably the least watched video, so I thought you all needed a stretch after that. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want any other content covered and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next week for another glute and shoulder session. Enjoy guys. Bye.